YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Random Links. Well, today's a little bit off topic. Uh, we're going to dive a little into the fossil world. Now, some of you know that uh, amber is a product of ancient forests. It's basically um, petrified tree sap. And a lot of people often wonder, well, how was it ever formed? Well, let me pan the camera around here and let me show you. In primordial forest, we see here, for example, um, there's a buildup of pitch at the base of this spruce tree. And the same thing happened in uh, forests of yore when uh, amber was formed several million years ago. The uh, pitch would accumulate on the forest floor due to various, you know, whatever injuries or just the nature of the tree letting sap go. Um, let's take another look at another tree. Here you can see the sap running down the tree from some kind of an injury or frost crack or something. Maybe there was a uh, beetle that entered the tree and caused the tree to bleed out a little bit of sap. But anyway, the uh, the sap accumulation on the forest floor eventually got covered up and as the forest died off and was covered up by sand and other uh, sedimentary formations, the the uh, amber was left behind or the sap was left behind and because it, it is uh, rot resistant or you know or even uh, doesn't rot at all in some cases or the conditions weren't right for it to rot um, it remained behind and then eventually turned into amber so and that's why we see inclusions of insects and you know other uh, odds and ends uh, there was even a recent discovery of a bird fossil in China I think it was or wherever it was um, where the tail end of a bird and even a partial bird was was encased in amber so there's there's always a, an explanation for some things um, granted this was just a short little note of uh, paleo forestry I guess you would call it um, so I hope you folks uh, out there enjoyed this little brief tour of how amber was formed and uh, if you have any Comments, thoughts, critiques, by all means, leave them in the comments section below. I always love to hear from my subscribers, and I'd like to thank those of you who came on board, and also those of you who continue taking an interest in the channel and the themes and subjects being discussed here. So with that, we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.